We only think of demonic activity. But warfare is a is spiritual activity, which is the working of the enemy as well as the Holy Spirit. And we already know who has the victory. Amen. Because we know at the cross, the enemy was defeated. Yes. Amen. Now God allowed the devil to have some power. Because see, he allowed him to have some power just so that there will be some war. So that at the end, that he can show forth his praise through us yes. and get the glory. And he even told me something that's really, really interesting. He said, see, I allow the enemy to have power to wage war so the wheat and the tear can grow together. Amen. And then as they grow together, my glory will sh outshine yes. the enemy and then, uh, then my believers will come forth as pure gold. Yes. So you really don't know, when you're in the war, you really don't know who the true believers are. Come on, now. Mm -hmm. go ahead, go ahead. You don't know who the true believers are. That's why you have to be really careful who is laying hands on you. Come on now, come on. We like, you know, people like come out and, and touch your stomach and come forth, come forth, come forth. And laying hands on you. You got to be careful who you let lay hands on you. Run. Some people like to run to every revival and every, um, every time they think a prophet's coming to town. Looking for a word. That's why he put the God put you under a, a a leader to get your word. I'm not saying that you should you don't don't go to other places, but be careful. Be led of the spirit. Yes. Because because that the the enemy it comes as an angel of light, and he is he disguised himself as God and if you're not sensitive to the spirit he or she can walk with you a long time come on now go ahead go ahead and you won't you'll be you won't know it so just 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 um just just develop a, a, a just develop a relationship. That's was my that has been my strongest strongest uh, gift treasure is the the instructions of knowing and hearing the Holy Spirit. Hearing the Holy Spirit. There are many people that came into genuine love. And I, I got to be my witness that when they came into genuine love within a week to 30 days, the Holy Spirit would tell, I would, would, have, would discern to me um, what they, you know, something about them. And I would tell my husband. And it may be years, a months later, before, uh, it could be their gifting, or it could be uh, of that they're not of a good spirit. And then maybe, yeah, and, but the Holy Spirit would instruct me way ahead. But it's not our job to judge. Amen. Yeah. It's Amen. our job to wait for the whole process to walk its way out, work its way out, to be revealed for purpose. Yes. Everything that the Holy Spirit does on this earth by the workings of God is for purpose. Amen. So remember the apostle told us don't judge, don't manipulate, have faith, be humble. Mm -hmm. All those things are important on this walk. Because when you're uh, on the journey 
uh, and the warfare is raging, you want to manipulate. You want to make. You want to manipulate to make things go your way. And then that spirit of pride. That spirit of pride. When we started this ministry, uh, a lot of island people. I'm not. I'm not from the Bahamas. I'm not from the islands. I'm American. I tell people I'm the only American left in genuine love. <laughs> <laughs> That's a for inside joke. But anyway, um, the spirit of pride works through, it comes from the principality of Leviathan. Mm -hmm. 